feet of that shit from brains, that lazy, worthless, goddamn idiot! Uh, 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 -moi. Just to be clear, there is evidence to support it. Is that so? It is. Throughout the investigation, there was certain behavior that was common only to the two of you. Considering what we've learned so far, it only further proves that the two of you were working together. <laughs> the screaming. The screaming. <laughs> you paper it and it flew me stands. Countering the suspicion. But I don't think Counter that's it. Yeah, I was encountering the person. Jeez, you're losing our health. Paper hit it. The screaming, it had to be. I got it. The behavior they had in common has to do with the suspicious individual in the suit, doesn't it? The only ones who ever actually saw Robo Justice firsthand were Celeste and he fooled. Shush, the adults are talking now. Oh, really? I'm one of them. Sorry. As he said, only Celeste and Hifumi ever laid eyes on the costumed individual. If we accept that Hifumi was one of the culprits, we can't help but suspect what Celeste has said as well. Are you saying everything they told us was a lie? After taking Hifumi to the nurse's office, we all began our search for this individual, correct? And not too long after that, do you remember what Celeste said? Saw the shadows on the movie on the top of the stairs. We headed to the second floor specifically because of what she claimed to have seen. Next, to draw us all to the physics lab up on the third floor, she let out a blood-curdling scream. And when we'd all come to see what was wrong, what was it she said? Now they're on the third floor. Once she'd done her job of getting us all up to the physics lab, it was time for her partner to get to work. She came from downstairs, it must have been Hifumi. It was to get us to divide into two groups. So that we would discover both bodies at the same time? In fact, Celeste was precisely the one who proposed that we split up. Then why don't we split up into two groups? Well, if Celeste and Hifumi were working together, all those chance events suddenly become connected. And on top of that, that piercing cry of yours early on, Didn't make any that sense. That was to signal he flew me, wasn't it? It was your way of telling him, we're on the third floor. Everything's going according to plan. Why else would you let out a scream that could have carried across the sea? I just realized another strange thing. When we found Hifumi in the nurse's office, who we now know was only pretending to be dead. Celeste was the one who pointed it out. Celeste, you were the first one to say he'd been murdered. You wanted to make sure we wouldn't have any doubt in our minds. I, I don't believe it. Everything, the whole thing was one big act. Kina, you were with Celeste when Hifumi's body disappeared, right? Yeah. I was feeling kind of sick, so Celeste took me to the bathroom. Wait, then that was... She wasn't worried about you. She just saw a chance to help Hifumi sneak out of the nurse's office. Each piece isn't much by itself, but start putting them together and the picture gets very ugly indeed. Wouldn't you agree, Celeste? I have no idea what you mean. Don't bother trying to deny it. You made one fatal mistake. Monkey's brain of <laughs> the plain cuisine. In India, not so much. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even catch it myself when you first said it, but looking back, I can say that that one little slip up was your undoing. 
What are you I'm talking, talking about? about? What you said after Hifumi's body disappeared and we returned to the nurse's office. They must really be enjoying this. Enjoying the sight of us standing around frightened and confused. We're all going to die here. We're all going to die just like those guys did. Just like those guys died. Though she wouldn't have known that the second person was dead at this point. I remember her saying that too, but I don't understand what's so strange about it. Then pay attention. Sakura, Toko, and I were first to discover Taka's body in the equipment room. Then Makoto showed up and told us Hifumi had been killed. So Sakura and I left with Makoto. Although when she said that, I assume she talk was talking about the previous people. The ones that were murdered in the previous Clash Trials. Once we were in the hall, we ran into Celeste, and the four of us headed to the nurse's office. Now, the entire time we were together, none of us said anything about Taka being dead. Think about it. Celeste's comment doesn't make sense. It was completely out of place. Yeah, I see what you're talking about. Although I don't really get what it means. You hear that, Celeste? Everyone's having some trouble understanding. Could you repeat what you said? If you're really not the culprit, you shouldn't have any problem repeating it, right? She knew that both murders had taken place. really be enjoying this. Enjoying the sight of us standing around, frightened and confused. They must be positively elated. We are all going to die here. We are going to die, just like those guys died. And that is all I said. And that's all it takes to finish this. It's obvious, isn't it? What was so strange about Celeste's comment? Come on! Figure it out yourself why I'm coming to make sense. Maybe it's so strange on the, those guys. Well, I hope so. If not, we're screwed. What was so strange about Celeste's comment? Really enjoying the sight of us standing must be positive. We are all going to die here. We are going to die just like those guys. Oh. <laughs> I'm still kicking. I don't even remember what happens to the game. Oh, we could get to the very end of this. I mean, there's no reason the Celeste should have said just like those guys died when she said that. None of us had told her Taka was dead exactly. And we didn't run into her until after we were all out in the hall. So there was never any chance for her to have seen his body in the equipment room for herself. So how did you know, Celeste? How did you know more than one person had been killed? And how did you know they were both guys? Because Kyoko had also disappeared, right? So she could have been dead too. <laughs> you all have such vivid imaginations, you know that? Imaginations. You claim that I was lying when I told you about the suspicious person I saw. Then what about the picture I took? How do you Active. explain this picture of the costumed villain dragging Hifumi away? It, it has to be some kind of setup, right? So let's put the suit on. And then, then she used the camera's timer to... to set up the picture. You are the only one who could have possibly fit into that suit. Plus, I happen to know that this particular camera does not have a timer. In other words, it is an unassailable fact that this is a picture of Hifumi being dragged away. If everything I told you was a lie, how can this picture exist? Simple. Are we sure that's really a picture of the suspect dragging Hifumi away? What could you possibly mean by that? Surely there are other explanations than the one you've offered us. Like they acted it out. No, 
There is no other explanation. Please, not a bullet time. If it wasn't a picture of the suspect dragging Hifumi away, then Hiro, being knocked out, was just leaning on top of him, and Hifumi was acting. That also confirms the accomplice idea. Right. Hifumi and the suspect had been drinking, is dragging the suspect away. Hifumi and the suspect are dancing. Is dragging the suspect away. I got it. It's not a picture of the suspect dragging Hifumi away. I would say it's a picture of Hifumi dragging the suspect away. That's certainly within the realm of possibility. The one being dragged off in that picture isn't Hifumi, but the person in the robot suit. We've simply been led to believe that it's the other way around. And the strange costume might only exist to lead us astray even farther. If you saw someone wearing something like that in this situation, of course you'd notice and be suspicious. That's what happened! You put me to sleep and made me out to be the bad guy in all this! <laughs> <laughs> Such a thing is utterly impossible. Hifumi was dragging him away? Ridiculous. Is it? I don't think it's ridiculous at all. Then shut your mouth and allow me to educate you. Hot damn! Educate away! But is it really possible? Oh no! Here we go! You dressed me up in that suit after I passed out! Then you just drape me across Hifumi and have him carry my weight. You tried to make me look like the bad guy. Like I said, ridiculous. As you can see in the picture, the suspect is standing perfectly upright. If the person inside the suit was unconscious, there's no way they could stand up straight like that. Except for the fact that the waist the idiot is yeah. after all. Or a costume, costume itself. itself. You couldn't bend, that's the thing. So even if you're unconscious, you didn't bend. Mm, it looks like they're standing straight up. So it's not a design flaw as much as it was playing. Right. I'm just hoping it's correct. You'll have to look at it. One. As you can see in the picture, the suspect is standing perfectly upright. If the person inside the suit was unconscious, there's no way they could stand up straight. Yes. No, it's wrong. He did it. Oh, my heart. No. Even if the person inside the suit were unconscious, they could still stand up like that. Because that Robo Justice suit had a certain characteristic. Which we've discussed several times in this case. You can't bend. That's right! They totally made a mistake when they made it, so it couldn't bend at the waist. I'm not so sure that was a mistake. It was done on purpose. I think the suit was designed from the beginning to be used the way it was. <laughs> Celeste and Hifumi took the suit they'd specially designed and stuffed Hiro into it. That's how they were able to fake that whole thing. The point of it all was to make us believe whoever was in the suit was to blame. <laughs> well then, I suppose... Caught her off balance, I think. Checkmate. Her poker face is gone. <laughs> Don't make me do another bullet time. That one almost killed me. Poker face is completely gone. Clearly, you want to cram me into your little guilty box. Well, there's one little problem. Have you already forgotten what Hifumi told us as he lay dying? If he was an accomplice, what he said doesn't matter. Well, if he was betrayed, you'd think you'd give up the name of the real killer who, you know, killed him. Considering he's dying. Right. He wouldn't help out the person who killed him. But it was also random jumbled words. 
Byakuya made that same exact comment. Yasu Kiro. He sounds nothing when like Celeste. Him to I know. Him, his answer was quite clear, was it not? He said, and I quote, Yasu Hiro. In other words, Yasu Hiro But my name isn't really Yasu Hiro. It's actually Taro. Your confusing statements don't make any sense. You're only making things more complicated. He did say Yasuhiro, but are we sure he was really pointing the finger at Hiro? What the hell are you talking about? I'll burn you alive! Kyoko, what do you mean by that? Think back to how Hifumi used to talk to us. How did he refer to each of us? <laughs> he said people's last names. I got it! That's right! Our last names! He called us all by our last names! And the only person who doesn't have a last name is Celeste. Well... Exactly. I know I heard him say Mr. Nayagi more than once, for example. So if Hifumi did mean to say Hiro's name, he would have said his last name, Hagakure. I'm sure it was just... incidental. By chance, he just... his... first name... Indecent? Don't talk. Random chance. Now isn't that a convenient explanation? No. There's no reason to think he would have said the name any different than normal. But he must have run out of energy before he could say any more. So Hifumi was trying to tell us the last name of whoever killed him? But the name he said doesn't apply to anyone here. Well, no. Hold on. There's one person it could apply to, and that's Celeste. She never actually told us what her real name is. <sighs> what did you just say? Exactly. We only heard Celeste. To think you take your false accusation so far, I don't know whether to laugh or spit. Come on! Enough with your idiotic blather! Yasuhiro is a loser's name! Do I look like a loser to you? Well, do I? Don't do a bullet time. What? I think I've earned the right to be a little on edge. Okay, then fill us in. What's your real name? Fine. Make sure your ear holes are wide open and listen up! My real name is Celestia Ludenberg. Could you please stop making me repeat myself over and over again? So then I have to do something to make her accept it. Not bullet time. Okay. Well, this still isn't that much better, but e-handbook. Aha! Her new handbook's gonna have a real name in it. That's where it all ties together. Hifumi was trying to tell us something. He wanted us to know the killer's last name, Yasuhiro. If there's one person here who might have that last name, it would have to be you, Celeste. You haven't told anyone what your real name is. How many times do I have to tell you? Celestia loaded for God damn it! How long do you plan to go on pretending? I'm not pretending. It's the truth. And since you have no way to contradict uh. me. Oh, oh no! Moron! You're gonna have to hit at least the a couple of those. Yeah. Oh, well, I have a minute. How long do you plan to go on pretending? <laughs> Here we go. It's the truth. And since you have no way to contradict me. Oh. Ah. No, I almost got another heart back. Hey. That's it. The handbook. What? Anytime you turn your handbook on, it shows the owner's name when it boots up, right? Monokuma told us all about it before. So that was far back in the end. So. Yeah, vital to a healthy school life, so don't lose it. When you start it up, it'll display your name, make sure you have the right one. Now, it's not your everyday notebook, it has many more uses. So all we have to do is check her handbook, and that'll clear up everything. That's how we can find out Celeste's real name. That, that's an invasion of privacy. I, I refuse to cooperate. 
Can you please just tell us what really happened? Please, just tell us. Even when I'm put in check, it's just my nature not to give up. Because, 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 until the game's over, you never know what might happen. Fine then. Let me settle it. Let me go over the case again, from the beginning, and shed light on all your crimes. And that'll bring everything to an end. Boy, it's your favorite part. Whoa. Magazine time. Hope you don't mess up once or else it oh jeez. Is that <laughs> is that Hafumi's face? You like the bunny face? Uh, Alright, uh So that's Taka getting killed, I would assume. That's one o'clock, so no, that has nothing to do with it. Uh here, click on the thing to get a hint. It doesn't look like Taka getting killed. Recruit their accomplice, was it seduction? Oh, this was him getting... okay. I think the victims are usually shown in detail. Right. This is the one of the... Yes, it's this, from the, the gym room. The blank people are usually the uh, murderer, so... Okay... Some sort of seduction tactic. The Yakuya. I would assume it's the photo? No, that's later. Yeah. I don't have a clue which one of these. Go farther left. I did. I went all the way I could. Well, Ships? Let's, let's move on for now. Yeah. Alright, so. What's the hint on this one? Time to the killer, call their victim. So this one one's six. Or one, yeah. This one's at one. One a.m. Okay. So this one, is this going to be the taking a picture, or does this cover it? No, I think that's taking a picture. Okay, so they... They didn't smack him beside the head. Drug them is what they did. Yeah, but I don't see drugs here. Walks in the room. That could be it, just because it's going to with him in it. We'll put it there for now. We're gonna replace it later. This is Taka getting murdered. What time? Is the watch. Six. Yeah. That's him being hit. Mm-hmm. It's Fufumi. Alright, and... None of these photos make sense. What's the hint? This is him pushing them... Oh, wait. Hammer used to kill Taka. What number was four. it? Four. This is Hammer four. There. Uh, strangled. Okay, this should be him waking up in the library. He got hit with Justice Hammer t 2, right? In the library? Right, but I don't think it goes there. Check what it says. In the library, who used something to fake the existence of a shadowy criminal? Fake the existence of a shadowy criminal? Yeah, it's that. Okay. <laughs> Went a little overboard with the blood and was. That's just the same number three. Oh no, he's dead. Oh no, they're dead. Wraps up the body, and th this one should be him pushing it. Yeah. This one. Laid it out. Thought he did a good. He gets murdered. And then she cleans the mallet.
clean my heart. Is that what that picture is supposed to symbolize? I hope so. We don't have a lot of time left. We still have the very first one. Yeah. How was he seduced? Chips? Maybe it's that picture of him walking into the room? Yeah, sure, we'll go with that. Well, let's set it. Yeah, let's we'll try it for now. You. Before anything, the killer persuaded someone to help carry out the murder. And that person was... Ifumi. Ifumi. With an accomplice, the killer was able to execute a number of otherwise impossible schemes. First, they convinced someone to meet them in the rec room last night at one in the morning. That someone they met with was Hero. The murderous duo intended to pass Hero off as the prime suspect. So when they met up with him, they drugged him, knocked him out, and stuffed him into the Robo Justice suit. Next, Ifumi positioned himself to make it look like Robo Justice was attacking him, while the killer used a digital camera to take pictures of the assault. They did all this just to create evidence that would put the suspicion on Hero. When they were done with it, they shoved it, still unconscious, into the pool room locker. And then finally, at 6 a.m., they moved into the murder phase of their plan. They called Taka to the equipment room. where Ifumi killed him, making it the scene of the first murder. The murder weapon was Justice Hammer 4, which was left there in the equipment room. The reason Hammer Number 4 was used was to create confusion about the order of the crimes. So, next they falsified two more assault incidents. For these attacks, the killers pretended to be the victims, to solidify Robo Justice as the suspect. The first fake incident was the attack in the rec room. There, the killers wanted us to see Justice Hammer 1 and the Robo Justice pictures they'd taken. They wanted to make sure we bought the surprise attack story. The second fake incident was the attack in the library. This time, they planted Justice Hammer 2 and an injured Hifumi to sell us that story. With these two incidents, the killers were able to create a certain preconception in our minds that the suspect was increasing the size of the hammers and attacking people in order as they did. We fell right into their trap and started looking for the suspect based on it. But... While we did that, we left Kifumi alone in the nurse's office. This was exactly what Kifumi was hoping for. <laughs> that effect, though. And Justice Hammer 3 and turn the room into a crime scene in which he himself had apparently been brutally murdered. He let out a scream to draw us back, and when we returned, that's what we found. Meanwhile, the other group that had been out searching found Taka's body at the same time. So when we heard the body discovery announcement, we naturally assumed it was for Hifumi. We left the nurse's office, and Hifumi once again took advantage of the situation. He simply got up and made his escape. When we learned his body had disappeared, we all rushed back to the nurse's office. And once again, Hifumi had the chance he was waiting for. This time, he snuck into the equipment room. He left Taka's body in a tarp and used the dolly to move it all the way down to the repository. That explains how each of the bodies disappeared. But I still don't understand why the bodies disappeared. 
Like, I can understand it to an extent to help create confusion, but... But even Hifumi didn't know what the true killer had in mind for their final act. I didn't lay out my reasoning right. I need to oh rearrange no. the events. The last one didn't count as a clean. Okay. Maybe it's just supposed to be a bloody one? Maybe. What does the hint say? The weapon the killer used to murder Hifumi. It's the freaking it. bloody one. It's not him cleaning it. Sorry! That's it the was only other thing it could back, have back. It was the potato chips the entire time. Well, let's end you. it. Thankfully, they didn't take away any of your health. Or else you would have game over just then. Know what the true killer had in mind. I messed up one. Excuse me. Before. You could have game you over if it took away health. And they did it using an ordinary, everyday hammer from the repository. That should cover everything that happened in this case. And the villain behind it all, it... What? Select! Sorry, you lose. Complete.